I'm Aubrey, and this is Clay Class, online tutorials for you through the 7th Street Studios at the Laramie Plain Civic Center. Now today, we're going to be going over how to make, or how to roll out rather, a basic slab for hand building, whether you're doing cups or platters or other fun non-functional objects. Um, we're just going to start out with how to make a good basic slab that's not going to warp too much or anything like that in any of your firings. So let's get started. So to start out, let's talk about what tools you'll need. You'll need some sort of compressor or smoother, some sort of soft sponge, a cutting tool, whether that's an X-Acto knife or a needle tool or a knife like the one I have here. I like to have a bucket of water handy, a rolling pin or a large dowel, and a couple of sticks to maintain the thickness of your slab. And if you don't have a canvas table like this one, you can also just go to your fabric store and pick up just some canvas scrap. So that's what you'll need to roll out your slab. So here I'm taking a piece off of the top of my clay block and I'm grabbing it and I'm throwing it in a kind of down and towards me and what that does is it stretches the particles out so you have less work to do with the actual rolling pin and the squishing down of the clay. As you can see I just keep switching, I'll throw it down, grab a different side and throw it down again. And we're ready to roll it out. So now I'm going to kind of even out that middle part is a little thicker than the edges so I'm going to just start in the middle and push that clay to the edges so it's a little more evenly spread across. Flip it and do the same thing on the other side, rolling in both directions. This is really important to kind of um, help with warping and the firing or anything that you make with this clay afterwards. So once I get it down to be, I don't know, maybe a half of an inch um, and you've rolled it out on all the sides and you get it pretty square, you're going to um, flip it, stretch it out just a little bit more. Make sure you have a nice plasticity to check the consistency of the clay. And then you're gonna take your rulers and you see how my rulers are too, uh, my clay's too wide for my rolling pin. So I'm gonna take those rough edges off, slide my rulers to the edge of my slab, and then continue to roll. What this does is it keeps your clay a consistent thickness all the way through. You don't have thin spots and thick spots. It's all gonna be about a quarter of an inch thick. And a little bit more smoothing and rolling out, compressing the clay. So now that we're compressing our slab, I like to take a very, very lightly damp sponge and just smooth the surface of my clay. And then I take my compressing, my compressing tool and I just run it one direction over the clay and then I do it at an angle and then I had a little spot on the clay I wanted to clean up um, smooth it out and then I'll go the other direction again this helps with warping anything that you might make with your slab afterwards and then flip it over and do the same on the opposite side So now I like to use my rulers and just 
trim off the uneven edges. Give myself a nice rectangle to work with. You see that nice consistent edge there. And you know that you have rolled out your slab properly. And then do one quick smooth, flip it over, smooth it out again, and you're ready to go. So there you have it. Those are the basics of how to roll out a slab in preparation for any projects, whether it's a platter or a cup or any other slab constructed object. Um, sorry, that's Lenka. She's our studio pup and she's a whiny butt. But anyway, I hope Lenka and you both enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe to more of our classes so that we can see you again. Bye.